Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for our overhanging beam. So I'm going to use the two methods to find out the support reactions, and one will be more simple and easy method, and the next or uh, the second method will be a more conventional method. So if we look to the beam, there is a four kilonewton per meter is the uniformly distributed load acting on the beam. And the beam is divided, divided into three uh, different spans and we who have hand support and also here we who have roller support. The lengths are 3 meter, 4 meter and 3 meter. So now to find out the support reaction by the very simple and easy method, I call it support A here and here is B. So hand support, so it will take the vertical reaction and also it will take the horizontal reaction but it will be zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. So the second reaction is RB here is a roller support so it can take only the vertical load it cannot take any horizontal load. So to find this support reaction in a very simple and easy method what should I do? I have to multiply this uniformly distributed load by the length of the beam on which it is distributed. So 4 kN per meter is the distributed load multiplying it with the length on which it is distributed this whole this whole load if we look to this whole load is distributed over the whole length of the beam which is 3 meter plus 4 meter plus 3 meter so the total length of the beam is 10 meter see we will multiply this with the 10 meter so meter meter will be cancelled we will get here 40 kilonewton it means that the 40 kilonewton this load we transfer this load this uniformly distributed load into a pointed or concentrated load which is a magnitude of 40 kN and this load will act at the center of the beam. It means 10 meter is the total length so 5 meter from here and 5 meter from here this load will act at the center of the beam. So now this 40 kN is the total load so I will simply divide by 2 so 40 divided by 2 it will become 20 kN. Why I divide by 2? Because we have two support reaction, the half load will be taken by this support and half will be taken by this support. So it will be 20 kN, it will be also 20 kN. So this is a very simple and easy way to find out the support reaction if we have uniformly distributed load over the whole length of the beam and we have two symmetrical uh, support conditions. Just multiply the load with the overall length and then dividing it by the number of supports. We have two supports here. So we will have, we divide by 2, so here we got 20 kN, each support will take 20 kN reaction. Now to find this support reactions by a conventional method, so let's see this method. So again here the same support reaction A and B, in this case let's suppose using the equilibrium equation and taking the summation of moment at point B equal to 0. So now this is RA. And this is RB. So we will take the summation of all the moments at point B equal to 0. So RA, we will take the clockwise moment, let's suppose it's taken as positive, and the anti clockwise moment taken as negative. This is just our sign assumption here. So RA, this is, will create the moment about point B in the clockwise direction. So RA, so it will be positive, multiplying it with the moment arm. Because moment is equal to the force into moment arm, so force is Ra and the moment arm is from A to B, which is 4 meter. The next load that creates a moment about point B is this distributed load. So it you can see here it is acting downward and most of the load act away from the B, so in the left direction. So this load, if I zoom, so it will create moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it will be taken as minus. 4 multiply it with the total length on which it is distributed. So the total length of the load distribution is 10 meter. This hole is 10 meter. 3, 4 and 3. If we add this, the so total length of beam is 10. So distributed load 4 multiplied with the 10 and multiplying it with the moment arm now. The moment arm, the load acting here at this point, as we discussed before, this load is acting at the center of the beam and we know the half of this 4 meter at the center so it will become 2 meter here so moment arm will be 2 summation of all the moment about point b equal to 0 so
So if we shift this value to the right side, so 4Ra comes out to be here. Et kilonewton or Ra is equal to the 20 kilonewton. Similarly, summation of vertical forces will be equal to zero now. Upward force will be taken as positive and the downward force will be taken as negative. Now the upper forces are Ra and Rb to Ra plus Rb and the downward forces are this load which is minus 4 multiplied with the 10 because it is distributed over the 10 summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0 so here we will find Rb equal to the if we shift this value to the right side so 40 minus Ra so Rb comes out to be 40 minus 20 because Ra is 20 so Rb comes out to be 20 kilonewton so this is the second way to find out the support reaction by using the equilibrium equation it's summation of moments equal to zero or the summation of vertical forces equal to zero so hope you guys understand to find out the support reactions for a overhanging beam by the two methods and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video